In this video, I'm gonna tell you what an online business brokerage is and how they work. I'm George Moulos from e-commerce brokers and we've been helping people build, buy and sell online business now for over a decade. I'm gonna take you through what an online business brokerage is, how they work, and my three steps to getting the most out of an online business brokerage. So how do online business brokerages work? Well, to keep it simple, let's define what an online business brokerage is. An online business brokerage is basically a business that helps other people sell their business. Now, the process of how they work is as follows. The first step is for an online business owner to actually list with an online business brokerage. Now, this is usually done through an exclusivity agreement, which usually takes six to 12 months of exclusivity for that specific broker. The brokerage will then use their existing buyer list and also active outreach to find you a buyer. When the right buyer is found, that's when negotiations and communications begin, which a broker should pretty much cover. Once the negotiations are finished and the best buyer is found, that's when an LOI is signed and the exclusivity period begins. After the due diligence period, a broker will help in the forming of an agreement, and of course, lawyers will also help there, and then assets will be transferred, funds will be transferred, and the deal will be closed. After the business is sold, the broker will take the commission, usually between five to 10%. This is the model of an online business brokerage. So what should you know about online business brokerages? Business brokerages can be called advisors, consultants, or many other number of names, and they've been around for over hundred years. However, online business brokerages and online business brokers have largely been around really just for the last 10 to 15 years. Their popularity and use increases in parallel with the increased use of the internet, the increase in e-commerce sales, and the increase in e-commerce businesses. As you can see from the infographic, e-commerce sales have been blowing up in the last 10 to 15 years, and similarly has the use of online business brokerages. So who runs these online business brokerages? Me, I run an online business brokerage. And much like me, online business brokers have a ton of experience running, building, and buying and selling online businesses. Online business brokerages are usually started by founders with a lot of experience in the e-commerce world. Almost all of the top 10 business brokerages that I know at least have started, built and exited their own online business. So who am I? Who's George Morris and who's e-commerce brokers? I'm an online business broker and I own an online business brokerage called e-commerce brokers, link in the description below. I started, built and sold my own online business in 2013. It was a small affiliate site doing about $1,200 a month in that profit and I sold it after about a year. After selling a handful of my own online businesses, I started to help my marketing agency clients exit their businesses, and I actually did it for free. After a handful of smooth and quick exits for a bunch of my clients, I decided to start e-commerce brokers. Over those 10 years, we've sold over 300 online businesses, and now we've expanded our range of services to buy-side brokering, sell-side brokering, and consulting on the building and scaling of online businesses. If you're a business buyer and looking to buy a business, take a look at our Elite Acquirer service. So what's the difference between an online business broker and an investment banker? Online business brokerages do what investment bankers don't have the experience in e-commerce to do. Investment bankers usually deal with traditional businesses, not completely or not even at all online. And they usually deal with businesses over $100 million. Online business brokerages usually deal with either 100% e-commerce businesses or majority e-commerce online businesses and usually work in the five mil below range. Although we've actually listed businesses over $70 million. So how do you actually sell with an online business broker? So you found a broker like e-commerce brokers and you wanna get your business sold. What's the process? The first step is to see if your business is sellable in the first place. A quick checklist is these three questions. Does your business turn a profit? Is it at least a year old? And is it stable and growing? If you answered no to any of these questions, you might find it hard to find a broker as they might not be able to sell your business. That being said, if you said yes to all of those questions, you'll likely find a broker. Now it's time to pick a broker and sign up. Some sellers wanna have more than one brokerage to sell the business. However, in my experience, this has been counterintuitive and usually means each broker doesn't have the certainty that they'll actually get paid nearly as much on a successful exit if they would if it was their exclusive listing. That being said, I recommend finding a good broker and sticking with them. The next step is signing an exclusivity agreement which secures the broker's commission in the event they do find a buyer and the business is sold. Then you'll need to provide a relatively extensive amount of data and information on your business. Transparency here is key. The broker works for you. So being honest and transparent about your business and the circumstances you're in with this exit of your business is the best thing you can do because they know how to tell the story of the exit of your business. And even if it's a bad circumstance, they'll know how to present it in the best way possible. Once the information is prepared, the online business broker will list your online business for sale on their site. They'll also contact their email list and actively push your listing. So how do e-commerce brokers work? At e-commerce brokers, we have a three-phase process. 
We firstly start with our paid buyers. These are our elite acquirers and they are highly vetted buyers. They have proven funds and operate very quickly. Then we go to our large buyer email list that we've been building over 10 years. This is where most businesses get sold. Then we also have a third party partnerships with marketplaces and other brokerages that allows us to access a few extra buyers at no extra cost to the seller. Once a couple of buyers have been found, communication will be covered by the broker until an offer has been made. Then there will be a buyer seller call, probably multiple, where the broker will mediate and lead the call. The broker will help in the answering of questions and most importantly, negotiation. How do you negotiate the sale of your business? Negotiation is where an online business broker really earns their money. This is where their experience can add up to 10 to 50% to your valuation and more importantly, get you far better sales terms, which means more money upfront to you as a seller. Once price and structure has been confirmed, a letter of intent or LOI will be signed and a due diligence period will begin. This gives the buyer an exclusive right to do due diligence on your business. So what happens during due diligence? During a due diligence period, a sales agreement or asset purchase agreement is put together and drafted usually by the buyer's attorney and then there will be back and forth between the buyer's attorney and the seller's attorney. Then comes the handover. During the handover, the upfront funds are put into an escrow account, something a broker can do. The assets are transferred then and the sales agreement is signed. After the transaction is finished and the seller gets paid, that's when a broker will invoice you for their services. As mentioned, commissions can go from 5 to 15%. The normal is about 10%. Here are my three tips to getting the most out of your online business broker. Number one, find a broker who has some experience in your specific niche or at least type of business and build some rapport with them over a few calls. Jumping between brokers usually means a lot of wasted time for a seller, a buyer, and of course the broker. Number two, be honest and transparent with your broker. Brokers are there to help you and ultimately get paid by you. So being fully open and honest about the situation your business is in and why you're selling will only serve to help you. Number three, make sure your broker is being consistent with their outreach and maybe touch base with them every two weeks. If you're looking for an online business broker, look no further as e-commerce brokers is here to help you buy or sell an online business. We have 10 years of experience in buying and selling online businesses. So if you're looking for a broker, go to the description below and you'll find a link to e-commerce brokers. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want more videos on building, buying and selling businesses, be sure to subscribe below. Now I have a question for you. Have you sold an online business before or do you plan to sell an online business? Let me know in the comment section below. Once the, once the, once this, once, once, once the best buy is found, that's when an LOI is signed and do it. Once the best buy is found, once the best buy is found and price and,